What's up? Two games or nothing. Uh, Kenny, he's talking about that second championship you won when you swept his Orlando Magic. Two rings you have. We want to make sure the people at home realize that. Uh, what are your thoughts on the play of Anthony Davis, Kenny? Yeah, I wasn't sure which championship he was talking about. Either, <laughs> so I was, I, I'm, I'm glad you had to identify. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for me, I watched the game, and, and Shaq and I always joke about gas in a car. But it looked like, you know, you ever been in a car and you got a quarter tank and you got 80 miles to go and you're just like hoping that you can get there. And that's what the Miami Heat looked like. It's like, we're going to eventually run out of gas, but we need to get there. And, you know, the offensive rebounds, the ability to able to, you know, knock down shots for Anthony Davis, you know, he was special tonight because, you know, in the, in the Denver series, he had games where he, he didn't rebound the ball at all. Well, he didn't even go to the offensive glass. So to do that tonight, and actually, as Shaq said, play big and play his size. We have been saying that, and Shaq had been saying that all playoff series. When he plays his size, he's the, he's the most un unguardable player in the bubble. So, but he he played his size. He that's what you can do against the zone. Actually, they 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 made. I think they made them take the shots that they wanted to make. And I was like now it's starting to you know, I don't know if you pack up to go out the bubble. But you, you find out where the luggage is. And you're like, yeah, hey, let me put the luggage out. I might not pack it, but I need to put, figure out where it is because they actually did the things that they wanted. And if, and if Bam doesn't play next game, there's going to be more of the same. Mm. Uh, Kenny, thank you for that. And I mean, thank you for not going into the gas situation with you and Shaq because we have a guest <laughs> waiting down in Orlando. Derek Greenberg and Steve Smith are joined by Kyle Kuzma. All right, thanks a lot, Stephanie. It's a Detroit connection to here, so I'm going to let Smitty go ahead and take this one. It's Flint, Detroit. Flint. Yeah, it's different. You, gotta, you know, oh, yeah. it's a little different, it's but different. we all want. Michigan we're from the Mitten. Yeah, there you go. Kuz, talk to me tonight. Uh, you got yourself in a little rhythm. You guys got you got a chance to knock down some threes again and yourself. We talked about it a little bit off air. Just tell me how you're starting to get going after this second game. Um, you know, I'm just embracing my role. Uh, it's never about scoring right now, uh, especially with uh, the role I'm in. You know, it's just really about coming in, playing with energy, uh, getting stops defensively. And, um, you know, when my number is called, just, you know, just be ready. And I think that's what I did tonight. Kuz, is, is it ever a situation when you have two guys like LeBron and AD combining tonight for 65 points where you get caught just watching them go to work? Um, you do. Uh, you do for sure. Um, you know, that's just um, a testament to their greatness. You know, they're, they're so good and you think everything's going in. Um, but they're human, too. And, you know, for us to have a... a connected offense we have to realize we have to move we have to uh, cut we have to free op open lanes for not only them but ourselves as well so Kuz, when y'all go on these runs uh, we obviously know AD and LeBron but Rondo's been a catalyst uh, talk about his play in these first two games and how he's helped you um, I mean Rondo's a Hall of Famer uh, I mean plain and simple you know he's out there um, making his teammates better uh, talking on defense, uh, making the right reads on offense, and making timely threes. Um, I think, you know, tonight he hit a couple. So, um, you know, just, just the way he communicates and, you know, always talks to me throughout the game, you know, it really just elevates my game. It helps me and it brings more confidence. So often in the NBA, when we see a team take on a shorthanded team, they, they tend to take a deep breath and relax. How much did you guys talk about coming into tonight with Dragic and Bam out that you couldn't take your foot off the gas pedal? Um, you know, we had to come out and kill, um, mm -hmm. plain and simple. And just because they had two people out doesn't mean anything. You know, they're a deep finals team. Um, they share the sugar. Everybody scores. Everybody touches. Everyone's live. So we knew that coming in. Um, you know, the biggest thing was just being able to, um, you know, just play our game, but also know what they're trying to do and just try to deflect it. So. Give me the mindset against the zone. It seemed like it was all about getting the ball into the middle and letting LeBron, letting AD. Those guys work and even have Rondo sometimes in the middle. Was that the key conscious effort against that zone? Yeah, for sure. Um, anytime you're playing against a 2-3 or uh, matchup 2-3, how they play, you know, the biggest thing is getting the ball in the middle and getting that penetration, uh, whether it's paint to great threes or catching it in the middle and scoring it or looking in a dunker. And, you know, that's what we did a little bit tonight. Could be better. Um, you know, left the middle open a little bit too much. But, um, you know, watch film, game three, get ready. Yeah, you got a short turnaround again, just one day between games. Those jerseys you're wearing have been pretty good to you guys. The Mamba jerseys, you're undefeated wearing those. How good does it feel to put that thing on? Shit, might as well wear them two more games, right? <laughs> Shit. Um, I mean, you know, these, these are these are my personally favorite jerseys. Uh, obviously, Kobe um, designed them, and you know, they look great. Um, 
you know, obviously they mean uh, a lot to us. You know, we got the uh, KB son on the back, Gigi right here. So um, they're always with us. And, I mean, sh- you know, we're undefeated with these on. So, um, you know, got to be some good juju with them. Yeah. <laughs> First finals, have you settled in already now? Yeah. How do you feel like a game two from game one? Um, yeah, a little, yeah, calmer and calmer. Um, obviously, this is the big stage. You know, obviously, it's not fans and <laughs> what you're used to, accustomed to, but the intensity level and, you know, how you prepare for the game is still the final. So, um, you know, just trying to be out there, live in the moment, and um, not worry about mistakes. You know, when I'm worrying about mistakes, I'm not playing myself. And, um, you know, tonight, just try to go out there and play free no matter what. All right, Kyle Kuzma, we appreciate you joining us. Congratulations, two down, two more to go for the Lakers. We'll be joined by more Lakers out here on the court with Steve Smith and Jared Greenberg. But right now, we go inside to the podium where Eric Spolster is addressing the media.